Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Talks 22. So, I had done a little intro. Um, <laughs> prior to this and I was like no girl you cannot go on looking like that so at the end of that intro I told you guys that I was about to get myself together but I'm just gonna redo it because um because uh uh, uh <laughs> yeah it was a mess so let's not anyway so I just wanted to come on guys because I'm going to ask a few questions right now today just to see what uh, answers I can get because of course I've done a little more digging and um, yeah I have a few more questions and I wanted to just kind of point some things out. Um, that I noticed, well, you know what, before, even before that, I think I'm going to go through and do a Celtic cross spread, right? And, um, see what comes out that might be quicker, shorter, easier, right? Um, if you've been following me on the missing persons cases that I do, I typically like to use this Cosmic Tarot deck because it's just kind of dark deck for, for me or to me. It's kind of a dark deck to me. <laughs> so, um, it's just perfect for this type of thing. <laughs> so, I wanted to do just a Celtic cross spread and I was wanting to record it. Because I, if I do it and I do it privately, then I'll have to come back and just tell you what came up. And I don't know if I really want to do that. So, um, I woke up this morning, y'all. Like, Taylor has been... This is what I've been doing all day. Not with the cards, but with his energy. You know how you get to a point where you get so uh, upset? It's like an angry feeling. And I know this was his energy. But I got so angry, y'all. I literally just started crying. You know how it's like, you know what? Now I'm really mad because you done made me fucking cry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a lot. <laughs> y'all, that, that's the energy I was in. That's when I was like, nope. You gotta go shower. You gotta, gotta go shake this off. Because... I really feel like this is someone who not only knows him, but who is close to him. And then I feel like his girlfriend and her mom um, are kind of trying to either create a narrative or manipulate a story. I feel like they are not as team Taylor as they're, they're presenting themselves to be to the public. So that pisses me off. Um... Hmm. Yeah. So we don't even want to stay in that energy right now. I got some questions about them. <laughs> so we'll be back to it. Let's do this Celtic cross spread first, okay? Okay, guys. So we're going to do this spread. I just asked. Um. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> it just got really cold in here. I just asked... Um. Just to show me what I'm missing. What am I missing or not seeing in regards to him, his his people, and his death? Because that's what it is at this point. It's a death investigation. Um, I did get in the reading yesterday that he's on the other side. I can really confirm that because <laughs> his energy is so strong. Um, when I intentionally connect, <laughs> hell, it's strong when I don't, so not intentionally, unintentionally, you know, so I know he's not here, but anyway, um, what's at the heart of your reading, Taylor, and the Celtic cross spread, the hanged man, Hmm. 
Okay, guys. So something else that I wanted to do. Let me explain this to you. Um, cause I, I don't normally go back and watch my readings, but I did go back and watch his reading because of some information and contacts that I made this morning. I went ahead and went, watched it back. And some of the cards that I saw because this deck is the way that this deck is, um, I went ahead and looked in the guidebook, right? Because even some of the terms that they apply to their cards and their deck are different, not really typical of what you would think for the meaning of the card is traditionally. And so that's why I'm using this deck and I'm probably going to use the book to see how the book chooses to describe certain cards. Okay. This song guys, before I got ready to do this reading, as I was thinking about how I was going to do it, mm -hmm. as I was thinking about how I was going to do it. There's this song, uh, Earth is Ghetto. <laughs> Her name is Nikki Aaliyah, N-I-K-K-I. But the song is Earth is Ghetto. Just y'all look it up, honey. Because I heard it last week for the first time. And I was like, where have I been? Because, baby, it is hilarious to me. And it is stuck in my head at this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so the hangman is the overall energy. And we're going to clarify the hangman simply because hangman is obstacles. It's an energy of loss for them. Changes. And then what is crossing this card? Is the King of Pentacles. Now, typically the King of Pentacles is who? Someone who works in finances. <laughs> who works in finance, which was Taylor. Um, someone who tends to be the provider. And then look, he was a Capricorn. There is a Capricorn on this card. This is the friendly king on his throne. So this is who he was, capable business person, diligent, patient. This is, I think this is Taylor's energy. So I want to clarify to see what this hanged man energy means. Hanged man is the obstacle, of course. Often in traditional tarot, the hangman is a delay. It's a setback. Kind of is something that it requires you to look at a higher perspective or a different perspective. Clarify the hangman. Oh, duh. Take that, Tiffany. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I get an energy here. You got the three of cups. That can be um, third party situations, multiple people, or this could be celebratory energy and things coming back into balance. 
But two of pentacles can also be about juggling of women. So with the three of cups and the two of pentacles here, let me show you these cards. I'm definitely getting what I was getting yesterday, third party and juggling somebody. So that's, that created an obstacle. But it's somebody that he turned his back on, that he walked away from, even though he felt a lot of love for this person. And then because you have the Justice and the Emperor card here, the Emperor is a father figure. The Emperor is a baby daddy. And Justice is just that. So I feel like someone is or was in a vengeful energy. Or maybe just trying to balance things out. Clarify this Justice and the Emperor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is an X. This is an X. This is an X. So somebody he was messing with or used to talk to or deal with said she was pregnant. Okay, I'm sticking with that. I feel that strongly. Because he ain't got no kids that I've seen. He got a dog, which mom calls her grand dog. Cutest thing ever, right? Um... In the distant, distant past, you have the Prince of Cups here. And for them, their Prince of Cups is someone who is mysterious. That's the Knight of Cups energy. Someone who's mysterious, who's inviting, who's challenging, who's clever, who's cunning, who's tricky. So I feel like that may have been his energy in the past. Because it's a Prince, there's a certain level of fun and immaturity that goes with that, that energy. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify that. Prince of Cups. Yeah. Hmm. What? So, wow. Okay, so let me tell you this. Ooh. So I get an energy that, who is this Empress? Let me see. Is this Empress Amber? Clarify this Empress for me, Taylor. Is this Amber? Just tell me that. Is it Amber, yes or no? I know I could have taken the cards, but I want to say my card, my question again. No. Okay. The moon card. It's the, the hidden girl, the ex. Okay. So there's an energy for me here that he was having a little bit of feelings for this other person that he was with, but then he found out she was either pregnant by someone else or talking to cheating with someone else. And this disturbed him. This hurt his feelings. He was sad about it. But it helped him to shift his focus. Because then you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So the Seven of Swords is usually like that sneaky energy, right? That's someone making a strategy, a strategy of playing, keeping their cards close to their chest, doing something behind the, behind the scenes. But with it in reverse... That's like, okay, something not working out in your favor. It's kind of like an, a need to uh, rethink the situation to look at something differently, right? So, um, hmm. 
Hmm. Clarify this high priestess. Okay. Okay. So he had to regroup. He had to regroup. Like, okay. Well, maybe either she ain't the one. Or I guess I can't be with her because she's still doing other stuff. She's talking to somebody else or fucking with somebody else. I don't get the energy that this is Amber. But um, I get the energy that. Remember yesterday I said there was a situation that he was trying to move on from. Move on and move toward. So that's good. I guess I won't talk too bad about her about her ass in this in this reading. Okay. So there's an energy here of in the past he may have been cheating with someone that he was actually thinking about being with over the girl that he is trying to be with now or was trying to be with now amber right but then you have this devil card this devil card is a couple things this devil card is temptation this devil card is capricorn energy but in this sense it is like something that is a good offer but looks hard to seems hard to resist all right this is something that also in the past clarifying this devil card he was a capricorn Yeah, okay. So that made him start up with really quickly again. Even though he was a little guarded, he might have been um of course I kept kept that situation secretive. He was keeping this situation see a secret. I feel like this is Amber, the situation with Amber. And the Knight of Swords is things just changing quickly, kind of whirlwind romance, things taking off and moving fast towards a new beginning. So he walked away from one situation because the heifer cheated on him. So I need to know who his ex is so I can stalk her page. <laughs> Somebody's higher self don't want me to talk. Let me go find my water. Hold on. Okay, so are y'all following so far? That he was dealing with somebody, right? He was dealing with two people. One was an ex. We'll just call her an ex. One is the current girlfriend, Amber. Let me just tell you this. Um, so I heard an interview today where his mom, her mom, not his mom, Amber's mom had called in talking too much and wasn't saying shit, but uh, talking too much, I feel like. So I heard that they, one, she said they'd been together for a year. Then she said they'd been together for over a year. She ended up saying they had been together for a year and a half. Um, she on her, mo not mom, Amber on her page, she didn't start actually posting him until six months ago. So it was the first picture of them on her page was October 31st. And somebody referenced her, like they, one of her homegirls commented on the picture, mom and dad with uh, a white heart emoji and a dove so i don't know if she had been pregnant at one time if there was some type of pregnancy scare i don't know she we're gonna ask tarot um but they she they referenced them uh taylor and amber that's the girlfriend's name uh remember yesterday we were talking about audrey child let me get into it um but they they referenced they they the girl her home girl jordan comments on the post mom and dad right but the first one was just october 31st this is somebody you had been with almost a year prior to that and you just now posting him so i don't know if the relationship wasn't as deep either it wasn't as deep or it wasn't as smooth and i think that is because taylor was over here trying to figure out where exactly he wanted to be you know what i'm saying in a place of indecision Okay, 
So then you have this devil card, which we just saw coming out, right? We just saw in the past and him choosing to be with someone else, have this new beginning with someone else. I think that's because from what we saw previously, someone cheated, right? So, um, at the top of the reading is this card, the Ten of Cups, and this came out yesterday. We talked about this. This is about doing something and then looking back like, eh, something that was supposed to be fulfilling, like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. So that could be starting up again with somebody. That could be moving someone in your house, um, which mom said they just moved in when? In November? Well, she, he, she just moved to his house around that time. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Let me pull this back down for y'all. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify find this King of Swords and this defense. Yeah, so the situation that he was sneaking in, that he was trying to emotionally detach from, um, either, like, he, he loved this person. He had a lot of love for this person, whoever this was. But I feel like um, even in that energy, his regret, because you have a, an energy here with this King of Swords and the card of defense or fighting for a connection. I feel like he's decided to fight for his connection with Amber because there's our Empress again. To fight for his connection there. Ace of Cups here with the resurgence in love. And also just an energy of being a little bit overwhelmed by it, right? But maybe not speaking that truth, not communicating directly about that. But then you have Amber over here in an energy of, okay, we're moving into a better place. We're getting, not, not physically, I mean like their relationship, moving into a better place. Meanwhile, there's an energy of him. <sighs> Whose loss is this? It's either his ex's loss, feeling the emotional loss. Or he's feeling the emotional loss. I feel like someone was sad about the movement. And either they kept their sadness a secret. Or this is someone um, who's feeling like manipulated while they are emotional. Clarify these fives. Two fives on top of that. So it's definitely about changing. Some changes. Some conflict here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he was moving into a new beginning. And I feel like that was making somebody jealous. He was taking a risk, moving forward, new beginning. But somebody with that Page of Swords energy is watching him, watching their social media. Or vice versa. So clarify this five of swords. Because that's that jealous ass energy. And remember he already walked away from whoever this was. That's manipulative energy. Yep. Somebody who was hopeful to heal the situation. Who was, try, who was wanting to compete, compete, either for his attention or for his love. 
but ultimately there was some block and like you can't see my social media so either he blocked her or she blocked him they just stopped talking they stopped their communication was cut off so then he could get back to balance and have his new beginning Mm-hmm. So you have that social media stalking still. And just uh waiting for something to like show benefit. A new beginning. So I don't know if he was trying to make someone else jealous or this is just who they were. Okay. Also, like I said, the devil card can be a card of temptation. And that ten of cups is like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then after that, shortly, you have this six of swords energy. So let's see what this six of swords means here. Remember we talked about this six of swords yesterday and we got the energy of the X, right? Hold on y'all. Y'all, there's an X. There's an X here. <clears throat> I feel like between the ex and the current girlfriend, somebody was emotionally manipulating him. Like, I get an energy almost not where he necessarily wanted to be single. But one of them is aware that he wanted to be with the other one. One of them is aware of that. Somebody's in this jealous energy where they lose and sleep at night. But they tried to, like, tempt him with something. And I feel like he... Yeah, it's the same energy as yesterday, really. I want to know this one, though. This, uh, because you have the two of cups here and somebody feeling trapped. So I don't know if this is him feeling like trapped by his current relationship or his ex feeling. Like, still emotionally attached to him. Like, she was losing him to his current relationship. Mm. 
definitely still some emotional attachment. And this is my card of a third party, okay? But this is also a sadness or loss or disappointment in romance. So I wonder if the ex is a cancer. Yeah, there's an energy of him just wanting to kind of take a break altogether. Yeah. God dang. I feel like he spoke his truth about that. I feel like he spoke his truth about that. Mmm. I feel like he spoke his truth about that. Because you have the King of Swords and the Hierophant. So this is someone who is either wanting a commitment or having a serious conversation with a Taurus energy. Guess what girlfriend, uh, current girlfriend's sign is? She's a Taurus. Just so you know. So this Ten of Cups energy is my card of a stable family. Usually like a deep, it's a deepening of a connection, but it's usually with an ex, right? So there's some type of clarity around that. Both of these cards right here, Four of Wands and Six of Cups, is about a reconciliation with someone from your past. Someone that feels, that you feel comfortable with, building a home with. Someone that you've dealt with for a long time. And one year ain't a long time. I mean longer than that. But it could well be. So take it as it resonates. But then look right here. Five of Swords. There's a jealous energy here. Okay. So... <clears throat> I wanted to get the book out for this card immediately when I saw it. Okay, so the star card is, for me, usually it's about hope, right? Hope for repair. And just hope for healing in the future. But here in this book, it's about inspiration. It's about clarity. Give and take. Resignation. Like resigning, which is like quitting something. In that In that particular spot, is for your hopes or fears so let's see what it is what it means clarify this star please okay Taylor just wanted to be in love, in a loving situation. With the moon card energy, I feel like there's still some things that are hidden. Maybe that's why with the star, he wants to clarify some things. Clarify for me, this moon and the four of, of coins. Mm-hmm. So you have the moon and then the sun and some anxiety. 
So with this King of Cups energy, right? This is who he was initially. I feel like truly he went to see this third party. Because you got the Three of Wands here with this Queen of Wands energy. This hot head, this, this ex lady. And because it's a four of pentacles here, I feel like that's who the money was for. So with the moon card, while he wasn't sure of what it was, he's, he got some clarity. The sun is illuminating. He got some clarity when he got to her. And this is the anxiety that resulted. Because it was a surprise situation. I think, yeah, because at the bottom here, when I clarified, of course, we got forward movement as in the emperor. So I really feel like he was hoping that him and old girl X was going to be able to work something out. But there's a king of wands here from the queen to the king. So that lets me know that she... Either had a partnership or another person. And that Ace of Swords is some clarity. So let me see. Clarify this Ace of Wands or the King of Wands. Yep. Manipulative, sneaky energy. All about the money. Queen of Swords. Tough conversation. Communication. Tricky. Not tricky energy. But Queen of Swords, like, speak their truth. So I feel like she, he might have found out at that point some things about her that were not in alignment with what he expected. So then you have this Eight of Swords energy. We talked about the Eight of Swords yesterday, but that, that, that's that feeling of trap, being trapped. And this is an external view. So this is how these ladies view him. Trapped emotionally or physically. Either way, in the water. Okay. End of that new beginning. Him being trapped, hamper, hampered, or hindered their new beginning. Somebody was thinking, like, this is our new beginning. This is our new start. Lessons learned. We're going to get to start things over. Getting back together. So I feel like that's Amber's energy. New home. Ace of Wands energy. I feel like that's Amber's energy. And I feel like ultimately that's where he wanted to end up. Because then we have this Empress card here. And the Empress card is someone who is usually open and receptive. Uh, open to love. It's creative energy. It's someone who manifests, right? Who attracts energy. Not chasing the energy. So I'm getting it's not the ex who was watching social media. This is someone who is temptational or tempted by material things you see how fancy this person is at this point i get an energy that that is current girlfriend and that position is what you really want right what taylor really wants mm. Yeah.
I feel like he just wanted to be in love. He just wanted a deep commitment. Something stable. Something long lasting. I get an energy that he was willing to walk away though from a situation. There's almost an energy though where he was forcing himself to be in a situation when his heart really wanted something else. I mean, if this ain't about three parties, I don't know what is. Cause look. <laughs> Clarify the lovers. Mm. Yeah, tower card. Not going to get to be with nobody. Cause what he thought he wanted. Mm. Cost him. Cost him. So now let me tell you what I found. We're going to leave that there. Let me tell you what I found this morning so i woke up to this email right there's definitely some gifting of finances involved the bank definitely needs to be letting someone know wherever he took out because he took out a thousand dollars at that time uh, earlier during the day the day that he disappeared wherever or the day before he disappeared i think it was that same day they reported him that same day so he ended up withdrawing another grand. That's what I wanted to ask. Is he the one that made that withdrawal? Because there was a second withdrawal after midnight. Um, I guess there's like a thousand dollar limit, right? So there was a second withdrawal. Clarify the second withdrawal. Was that did Taylor remove that second amount of money? The lovers. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so the Queen of Pentacles is usually someone who's focused on finances. The lovers is usually, you know, the lover. <laughs> Clarify these for me, Taylor. Okay, three of cups, the third party. The third party. Is that the ex? Because at this point, because I don't know which one you wanted to be with. Like for real. Oh, see? I feel like that's the X. Let me look at this Princess of Wands. My stomach making noise. I ain't even hungry. For real. Tempestuous young woman. Unstable. Cruel. Spontaneous. Energetic. Willing to accept risk. Impulsive. Passionate both in love and anger. <laughs> 
This is the one he had to defend himself against. So I don't understand. The one, okay. Okay. Y'all, <laughs> it is two choices of women everywhere. This could be two sides of the same woman, but it is, I feel like it's two sides of two different women. So that video footage, cause you know, every ATM has, um, cameras. That video footage of whoever made that withdrawal after midnight is going to be critical and crucial. I don't understand why the hell they don't have it at this point. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. It definitely wasn't him that removed it. It was one of these two women in his life. Trust your intuition. My intuition's confused at this point, Taylor. My intuition's confused. Wait a minute. Y'all, I feel like there's some discord that mom and girlfriend ain't telling us about. <clears throat> so we know Taylor didn't remove that thousand dollars, but everybody's thinking it was a man. It wasn't even a man. It's a woman. Okay. So let me tell you guys about this, um, thing that I saw earlier, the girlfriend's mom called into this investigative team's video to the, his little podcast episode. And I really couldn't understand why the hell she's talking and the girlfriend's not. And she's trying to tell the dude, like, you know, what happened? Baby, it wasn't even you. So why are you not talking? Because if you're trying to be helpful and you haven't trying to have someone locate your, your boyfriend, I don't need nobody to speak for me. I'm willing to speak. Right. I'm going to tell you what's happening. That's one, number one. Some things that I just noted, noticed at, before I got deeper and down the, went deeper down the rabbit hole. Also, there's the discrepancy in mom's mom saying how long they've been dating. Um, like I said, she just started posting him six months ago, but that's because he didn't know who he wanted to be with. Right. Um, also they sent a timeline, like a list of, of times to this guy. His name is gray, gray Hughes. But like a couple times in his video, he said, Oh no, she took that out or she moved that. And I was like, if you're trying to be transparent and you're trying to be helpful, what the hell you're moving? Show it all, show it all. Cause it could be helpful, right? If you don't know what happened to him or you don't know what, what sparked his disappearance. Um, something else that I wanted to ask, did this happen at the bank? Because I also on this man's video, you, you, the way it's positioned and just the level of traffic that's right there. And when I say it's right at the corner, it's right at the corner. Ain't nobody being ambushed or fighting in the daytime in that parking lot or at a car, especially with cars in line, the way the cars wrapped around the bit wrap around the building ain't nobody doing that and not being seen by all the traffic because it's like on the corner it's on the corner right here and then you got like four lanes of traffic here two lanes here like it's just traffic freaking everywhere that all that ain't happening in the daytime so did this um disappearance 
happened at the bank. <laughs> I don't even know how to ask ask it. Did someone ambush you at the bank? That's what I want to ask. I don't want to use these cards, or do I? I don't. Tell her, did someone ambush you at the bank? Looking for a no card. Yeah, trust your intuition. <laughs> yeah, okay. High Priestess. High Priestess would normally be a yes, but I feel like that's a like, no, trust your intuition. Okay. Because that's what I've been taking it as. Here late, here recently in this reading. Yeah. Who knows? There's no way the teller wouldn't have been able to see that because it's not that much space there between. Child, you can sell that shit to somebody else. Um, there's an energy of either attention or just did some contention from girlfriend's mom. Because the interviewer on his video said, um, so mom found the phone in the bushes and mom and the girl girlfriend's mom was like, no, she did not find the phone. Like she just, I just felt something in the way she said it. Where I was like, first of all, that's his mama. <laughs> like what's wrong with her having found the phone? Second of all, um, the way he said it, the, the way she said it was like, nah, she lying, you know, but turns out because the interviewer went back and was like, oh no, she didn't say it. The news reporter said that. Yeah. So it was just, um, some contention for no reason, first of all, but then also I was made aware of a previous video where, um, girlfriend's mom had called in and said some things that were not true. So they were forced to take the video down because it was, it was some lies said on, on girlfriend's mother's part. So that makes me one, why would you lie on his family Two, now I discount what you are saying because I don't know what your motivation is. Then three, the discrepancy in the time turned set, turned me off, just made something go off in me. For the fact that um, the 31st, that she didn't start posting him until October. But y'all trying to act like they damn near to the altar. Okay. Actually, the first picture was posted September 19th. That mom and dad comment was October. So that's what I wanted to know. Um, did Amber tell you she was pregnant? Taylor, did Amber tell you she was pregnant at some point in order to get back together? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's what she used to get him back. Six of Cups, reconciliation and deeper commitment, marriage, also Taurus, her sign. So yes. I think that's probably why he said, okay, let me move, let me move her in. Is she currently pregnant? Is she currently pregnant? Manipulative energy for a deeper commitment. So see, secrets, the moon card, eight of swords, trapped, trapped. That's what I'm saying. Them hoes lying. That pisses me off. She ain't pregnant. Running games. 
being manipulative. I, I felt it. I, fe I just felt, I felt something wrong. I felt something wrong. And then I was like, I wasn't going to post this video because I don't want to be talking bad about her for nothing. But, eh, whatever. I'm posting it. Revengeful energy. I'm going to get him back. Mm-hmm. Queen of Wands. And we know that's what she is. So these women are typically in a tug of war over him. Okay. They were typically in a tug of war. And they both know about it. Um, something else that I did say. They're both aware of it. I think that's why I was in such an angry, angry energy. Because I, like, I felt like this. They're aware of it. Um... What is the other question I wanted to ask? I know you're in a body of water somewhere. Your car is in a body of water somewhere. What can you give me about your location? I don't know. Like, like I don't know what clues I could be able to get from these cards. Those all even upside down. Let's see. So, um, I don't know if I said this in this video already. So yesterday there was Audrey and Lynn. Um, cause an email I had gotten, she had channeled those two names, Audrey and Lynn. So I was told today, or someone commented on the previous video that Aubrey Lane is an apartment complex there in Houston. And there's a canal behind it. Okay. So as I'm telling y'all that again, my card where I kept saying is him being trapped in water. Just popped out that eight of swords energy. So I sent all that information and what came up today to the detective. So hopefully they know more than they're letting the public know. Hopefully they're following up on it because that's what came up. I also wanted to know, will justice be served for Taylor? Taylor, will this case be solved for your mom? Justice be served? I just got goosies. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Ace of Cups. Good. 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 I got goosies real bad. So that's awesome. All right. So I can't wait for all of this to be confirmed or not. It will be. <sighs> Guys, I don't know if I missed anything else. Um, yeah. It's really hard. It's really hard to... People just learn to communicate. Be comfortable with communicating your truth and being honest with people, right? I ain't making it his fault. I'm just saying, just be honest. I ain't making it his fault at all. These hoes be a trip. These women, I mean, that's what I'm learning. Like, women are just as a trip as they claim men to be. Like, seriously. All right, I'm going to leave it here. 
And I know I just did a reading for him yesterday, y'all, but I just could not see it. Like I even tried to do love readings for the week because today it is officially seven days later or eight days later today. So I tried to do love readings last night and I could not shift my focus. I couldn't do it, <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to try today. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.